What's up, Lincoln? Hey, Gordon, what's Ready going on, show? man? Uh, Absolute it's Monday. This weekend, though, I think we should go live on Flow Track. Where do you think we should go? Well, I was just at Spire. I think we should go back. Khaled, what do you think? Spire, is that a good place to go live? Another one. Oh, let's go one another more. one. Uh, well, we can get some archive races at that Track Town High Performance Meet. We're Orleans. there. Jenkins ran against Chalimo. NOP was there. O Oregon Track Club. I let's think, go back. I think we go back there, get some archive races this Friday. Yeah. Boom. Archive race, live race. What do you think, DJ? Another one. Uh, Strict. Let's go, let's go to Boston. Okay, Terrier. BU Terrier. Yeah, man. man. Syracuse, Providence, Smile Action. Win a weather. That doesn't scare us. Two live events, one archive event. That's three events. I, I think that's perfect. And another one. Uh, oh, Penn State. We can go to Penn State. We gotta go to Penn State. Can, can we do, do you think we can pull that off? Probably not, but... Stanford, Georgetown, Nova, no. Penn State. Okay. So three live events, plus track plus town. Plus the archive. I mean, that, that, that's it. And another one. Oh, dude. <laughs> what? No. Nah. We I can't. Mean, no, no, we can't. There, but UW is this weekend. Ah, you're right. Yeah. All right, UW, Colorado, Boise State, 5K, 3K act. Oh, all right. So that's it. Five events. Oh, we're not doing God. it. I don't think we can do it. How am I going to sleep? No, we're not. Should we even shoot the show? Let's yeah, just go let's home. Just go. Right. Welcome back to Run Junkie. Let's get right into it. Eric Jenkins makes his NOP debut running 745, but he takes a second place finish Whoa. to Paul Chalima. Paul Chalima. I haven't heard that name in about three or four years. Me neither. <laughs> But he looks to be back on form, 744 world leader. Speaking of world leads, Andrew Weeding at that meet runs 339 for the 1500 meter world lead. You know, going back to that 3K, Woody Kincaid, an impressive NCAA leader, 748. And he also has a world lead still in the 5K, man, 1344, 46 days ago in December, somewhere in Indiana world leader. You know, Gordon, I think a lot of people would say that in January, it's kind of foolish to talk about all these world leads. What are you talking about? I still got my world lead from the sledgehammer Whoa. throw outdoors. Mm. Oh my gosh. I think it's gone. Oh my god. Oh my god. This might be it. This might be it. 130. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh. That Jonas Blizzard wreaked havoc on the East Coast this weekend, pushing back the New Balance games from Saturday to Sunday. But of course, that did not stop Kim Conley from running a 427 mile world lead. And speaking of miles, we saw some sub four altitude converted miles. Mm. UTEP's Jonah Koek, Air Force's Patrick Corona, sub four via altitude conversion. It's time to break out that altitude converter, Gordon. We always love doing it this time of year. Here it is. Brought to you and made for by Christian Serratus. All right, you know what time it is. It's time for Gordon's most overlooked performance of the weekend. That no one is talking about or even thinking about or even knows about until I'm about to say it. Texas's Courtney Okolo splits a 50.77 in the 4x4. Watch out, she is clearly the NCAA favorite. And not just an NCAA favorite, but 50.77 indoors. Watch out, professionals. She's coming for you. I got work to do. I got a job, baby. Don't forget, we're going to have archive races at the Tracktown USA High Performance Meet on Friday. We'll be live at Spire. We're going to be live at the BU Terrier Invite. Also going to Penn State National Live. And we're going to be live at the UW Invite. Guess what? I think you got your fix. Oh. 